Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and we are finally ready to go out and fight the Viscount. I'm pretty afraid. I'm pretty scared of this. This is our very first level 5 mission and it's a courtyard mission. This might not go the way we want it to. And after the crushing defeat of Oracle in the previous episode, it's it's it would be very, very upsetting if we lost any of these these good troopers, but we do have a new person amidst our ranks. We have Sereth here, our stargazer. This is um, a class that's been written for by Cell, um, and I'm really excited to get into this class. I'll kind of go over the trinkets and the team and the idea behind them after this backstory here. One of the rare children born from an eldritch and human marriage who was not cursed within the disfigurement or insanity. Sereth acts as a messenger between our realm and theirs. He walks between stars carrying news of goings in the eternal void. Throughout history, he has had many names, Hermes, Mercury, Hemthod. Uh, Sereth has always remained neutral to the dealings of man, until recently, when he saw the hell was wrath and um, wrath by the beings of that fuel the darkness in the hamlet. Today, the messenger becomes the warrior. Ooh, I'm, I'm very excited to this class. I really want to bring her out because, um, or him out, because I think this class fits actually very well into the courtyard and into what we're trying to do here. Um, I'm hoping at least. And yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. We actually have a diary entry right as, um, as our um, stargazer arrives here. Uh, I cannot sit idly by any longer. I have seen what evils pulses throughout that land and I must know, uh, I must know it to be stopped. The others have tried to discourage me from taking part in the affairs of mortals, but they fell on deaf ears. I will send an avatar down to the hamlet. The pen shall provide as mighty as the sword in this war. Damn, I, I yeah, I absolutely love all these stories coming out and I'm really, really excited to um, to try this class out. I just hope that, that this build that I've created works. So what we've got here, first of all, we have Rune, and uh, uh, essentially we're going with kind of a pretty heavy stun reliant build, because apparently the courtyard is very susceptible to stunning, so I think that's gonna be a really good thing to go for here. Um, so the, the, the first thing that we have here is Sunder, which was actually changed recently. It used to be always crit on stunned, but now it's plus 60% damage versus stunned. We also have the cold snap here, which is going to, of course, stun and debuff the target with minus 12 speed, which essentially means they will stay stunned for the full duration and let everyone have their turn first, which is great. Then we just have the de-stress and add pro and the heal for maximum HP. Just as a little backup, we can of course go with the arctic clutch to get that increased stun chance and speed and i may well do that if our stress reliever isn't actually as necessary in fact i'm going to start off with that because we can always change that later and see how that goes then next up we have manold um, and manold's going to be a pretty interesting class for us here because he has hunter's blade which is bleeding but most importantly Buff self with 25% damage reflection and plus 35 damage versus bloodsuckers, which is exactly the enemies we're going to be going up against, which is really, really nice. We then have the visceral attack, which is going to be count uh, like sort of a secondary to one of these. I'll get into these first. Blunderbuss here does extra damage versus different size enemies, especially size 2, and deals splash damage to other enemies. But we've actually got a modifier for the Blunderbuss here, which is going to give it plus 20% chance to stun versus size 2, give it 120% stun chance, lower its damage, but it's also going to take this repost and lower the stun chance by 30% uh, and give it more of a bleed. So it can also stun, but can now bleed as well. Um, and that's going to make this more of a stun heavy build. And then as, as I said, we get into this visceral attack, only versus stunned, 100% uh, damage versus stunned, double crit chance, consume the stun, and debuff the target with lower speed. So that's going to be really good. And then we have the hidden blade here, which is minus eight on ranged attacks, but we've only got one ranged attack, so I don't really care about that. Um, on being hit, deal two damage to the attacker. Um, on being hit, buff self with extra melee crit chance and 25% damage reflection. Pairing that with the hunter's blade should mean a lot and a lot of damage reflection. With his high health pool, I'm hoping that works out quite nicely for us. Then as I said, we have Seraph, our stargazer. Wasn't really too sure what to bring along for Seraph here because I I haven't played the Clash yet and I don't know what would work best. So what I've done is I've just brought along the um, the two Virtue Trinkets in case we need them. Uh, also, I didn't mention we do have the um, 
cherished keepsake and otherworldly bell here so we can hopefully get some healing for the entire group bit of prop bit of stress relief and ho hopefully stress healing as well but yeah Sarah has some interesting skills um, Seraph is kind of like a class that switches between two forms, kind of like the werewolf. We have this knockback here, which I'm imagining is going to be sort of the best skill for us to use. Um, the best skill for us to use when we are fighting the croc, because we're going to need to knock him back. So that's really, really nice. Um, we have this conjunction here, which is uh, going to heal target himself and give us uh, 20 dodge when we uh, guard someone uh, or forced guard sorry we can i think we do different things in different modes so we'll either guard ally or force guard by ally depending on what, what mode we're in we have enlighten here which is really good a nice stress heal along with the next two friendly skills giving stress minus six which is just great singularity here this is good for two reasons we have um if we're uh, pensive we get the pull which is really really good for the croc um, and if we are transcendent, we get the stun, which is really, really good for our other part of the build. Um, and also, this is going to bypass and de-stealth, which I think is really, really nice. We then have the void manifestation, which um, is going to basically uh, do a lot of damage, give us a higher chance of becoming pensive, and it's going to self-stun. Um, and you may think that that's quite bad, but we do have this for clear stun if that becomes a problem. So I've kind of thought about that. Uh, we have Call from the Beyond, which is going to be an armor-piercing one that hits every enemy. It's going to shuffle, de-stealth, break, guard. Very important there, break, guard, and clear corpses. And then we have lucid um, Lucidity. Uh, which is going to be become pensive and do as a self-stress heal. I think that's going to be really nice as well. And then, of course, we have Zai. Uh, Zai is going to be our healer, of course, as you can see here. Going with these two big heals, we've got the Silver Syringe along with the Web Treatment. A little bit less accuracy, a little bit more stress. We're getting plus 20% stress here, but I do think we can manage that. Uh, then we have the Stress Relief here, and we have the uh, Slingshot. What we could do if we really wanted to, we could switch that out for the head that is Stress Relief. Um, this one here. But I I really don't think we need that considering we have stress relief on two other members of our team. And I think that this here should be a good enough build to set us up and, and get us going. The only thing that I'm unsure about is... I'm not really sure if this is the best trinkets for Serith, but at the same time, doing trinket swapping and such, I think these will be valuable. Um, I have seen sort of some some fights against the Viscount. I kind of somewhat know how it works. I know it's a very tough battle, um, and we probably won't end up fighting it this episode. It's very much going to be like the last uh, courtyard boss. It could take a long time to get there, but we're going to jump on in, take our provisions, um, venture into the courtyard, we'll consume one invitation embark so we're gonna grab all of our food we're just gonna grab one of everything for now because i can't remember what we need um and we're gonna grab two yeah we'll, we'll start off with just two stacks of blood i don't think we'll need any more than that but we are likely to come across some um some curses here so hopefully two stacks of blood should be enough let's embark on this adventure and let's get into this we do have another dire injury here from cell but i'll wait wouldn't last for weeks at a time Great stone tables were set with such an abundance of rare delicacies that we would stuff ourselves until the exotic became mundane. When the lavish spread began to spoil, a ravenous gourmand gleefully proposed that we sample from the fetid pile of composting refuse. The notion was dismissed as decidedly unhealthy. But days later, he was found cackling madly atop a heap of rancid comestibles, licking his fingers in delight. Whoa, that's so cool. That's such a, that's, that's probably one of the best, like, voiceovers for a boss I've heard yet. But yes, we do have a Dye Ranger here, another one from Cell, and this is for Dai and Cam Kamineri. The two men stand before Oracle's grave. His coffin is empty, as it was deemed too dangerous to attempt to recover, uh... To, to, to attempt a recovery mission. In Anson, the two began to pray. Dai sat down and places his gloves onto the grave before him. Kamineri gets down on one knee. From the grave we come, and to the ground we will return. But it is the journey between that which matters most. They say together in harmony. At the end of the prayer, the men exchange a confused look. How did you know that prayer? Kamineri asked. My grandmother sung it to me whilst me and my brother watched the sun. What was her name? Haru? Why, why do you ask? My grandmother Haru told me that same thing. Brother. These two are starting to realise 
these two are starting to realize that they're actually related. They've been here so long together and they just haven't known. I've been waiting for these two to finally find out about each other and it's happened. And it's happened bonding over Oracle's death, which is not the best circumstances, but... Let him die hey her. Steal tonight. So, as we remember, this is difficult, but we are coming in as champions. We do have one actual legend with us, Zai, the legendary healer. Uh, everyone's got their um, their stuff ranked up and everything. We should be okay here. Maximum HP is good across the board from what I looked at before. The only one we have to worry about is Seraph. Seraph has pretty low maximum HP, um, but everyone else is pretty good. Let's burn this thing. A fortune waiting to be spent. Okay, and get rid of that for now. Um, we're, we're looking, we are looking for money somewhat, but we're not going to worry about it too much. Provisions and everything, like taking back money and curios, we're really not going to worry about that at all. Here's our first battle. No one from the courtyard, but still pretty difficult enemies. Um, we have a relatively good chance of stun. I'm actually going to start off with this and buff everyone's speed. Uh, that actually buffs yours by six. Interesting. Okay, and then let's have a look here. Um, so... What sort of damage does this do? 8 to 14, and it's going to knock back. Let's do that. Wow. Okay, for one, that animation was awesome, and this visual when he's changed over is the best. This is, this is, this is great. I absolutely love this. Um, we'll... Bl blunderbuss there get the stun there you go get that aoe damage i'm loving this i am absolutely loving this um and then we'll go for a stun here as well resist unfortunately but that's okay tentacle devour is gonna hurt but that's okay can we hit you we can indeed it does remove that stun but it does a lot of damage i'm gonna try and go for the stun again nice we got it he enters stealth there as well, which is great. Um, so now, as you can see, he's changed over. We've um, we've got some other stuff going on. Um, let's just have a little look what we've got going on here. So this is a self-stun. This is going to stun, so let's do this. There we go. And this is where the stun build really comes into its own. And a crit from Rune. Huge, huge damage potential here. And the, the, the group, as you can see, is, is doing just fine. And a heal for 12 there is going to be exactly what we need. Okay, your stun resists are both up by quite a bit. So we're going to have to just go for the go for the kills here. Unfortunately, Rune does miss. That's okay, though. Um, what sort of damage is this going to do? Let's set up our parry. Our repurst, even. And... We're going to go for this again. Another crit there. Unfortunately, the stun's resisted, but that's okay. I'm loving this ability to get everything shuffling around. Rend coming in, but that should be a nice bit of bleed on you. He's going to resist the stun, though, of course. And Tentacle Devour's going to hurt. Okay, I do... I am quite worried about um, Serith here, because his health is very, very low. I am a little worried about that. Uh, first of all, let's get rid of that bleed, because that's going to hurt otherwise. Nice finish. And let's just go for a party heal here. And this is, I think, because of our uh, very, very low uh, maximum HP, we're going to be wanting to guard a lot here. Uh, and now the question is, you have 40 dodge. Wait a minute. 10 from other. Where are we getting this other dodge from? Is it a skill? Ah, okay. So I actually think what we do is we go with this. It's going to heal us both. Give us the guard. That means they're going to get trigger in the repost, which is great. And your dodge goes up to 60. 60 and 65. Okay. This is definitely something that I didn't consider as a as a practical usage here, but I'm really liking this a lot. Let's try and stun you again. Unfortunately, we resisted there. Howl's coming in. That's okay. We can we can stress relieve when need be. Let's hit you. Uh we don't actually need any stress relief right now. 
So Singularity here. Good damage. Nice crit. And the shuffle again. We transcend once more. I'm loving the animations on this character. Uh, we can actually clear horror if we'd like to here. Uh, I don't actually think it's necessary right now. Let's just go for another party heal. And I am very happy. Very, very happy with this uh, group so far. That was a... That was a possibly quite tough fight and these guys handled it with some grace and i i didn't realize how how potent seraph would be able to be with the guard i think we're going to be um using conjunction a lot more and i think manold is going to see into see into a world or a realm that he didn't know existed it's going to be very interesting for him um something he wasn't quite expecting but something that i think is very welcome so we're going to start off with this. I think this for the speed is just so good. And I actually think we start off with this. Even though we don't need the heal. Uh, getting that started is great. Okay, you've got, you've got your repose started up. That's okay. Um, we proc that, get, get that going. Okay, you do have a bit of bleed on you. Um, what sort of stun chances we got here? This is 140. Let's try and stun you. Ah, oh, unfortunate resist. Some of these guys do have higher stun resist than I was expecting, but this is a level 5 mission, so we can't, we can't ever think that that's not going to happen. That's a problem. That's, that's a significant problem. Um, that's a bigger problem. Okay. Did not like that. Did not like that at all. Compassion is a hmm. I don't know. I don't know what's best to do here. There's our first Crimson Curse. In it comes. It was to be expected. It was to be expected. The fact that we've done basically no damage here does scare me a lot. Um, let's do that. Get a bit of stress relief going there. And Cold Snap. That's 140 base stun. I think we've got to go for stuns here. We are getting them good. Good, good, good. I think we move you back one now while we don't need to do anything else. Um, and then these are bloodsuckers. Oh, man old. I need you to hit. I really do. I need you to hit. Oh, and now your guy. Wait, what? It, they guard each other. This is confusing. This is all sorts of confusing. Okay. It's kind of interesting. Nice dodge. We're going to need to keep that dodge going. Okay, this is definitely significantly harder on these enemies than I was expecting it to be. Um, let's go for the heal on myself. That's that stress relief as well. Like, we've basically done no damage to these guys whatsoever, which is a real problem. Uh, really wasn't expecting it to be that difficult. Hmm. Nice. That's a good one. Um, we can't hit you. I think we try and get you. Crit. That should stun. Nice. It did. Okay. Shuffling is good for us as well. I'm liking that. Um... You've got a lot of prot, so let's try and stun you out. Nice. And then Manold. Finish that off. Okay. I think we're okay here. Battles are just going to be a little longer than we expected, I think. Um, what sort of damage does this do? That's a lot of damage. I know it's self-stuns, but that's a lot of damage. Um, I think here, though, we'll clear the enemy corpses and get the shuffle going. I mean... You dodged both, but it still cleared the corpse. I mean, you've already sucked the blood from her, so can you just leave her alone, please? Okay. This blood sucking with them healing up is definitely, definitely more difficult than I was expecting it to be. More, more problematic. Our healing should be enough here, uh, but that's okay. Right. Go with that again. I'm liking the fact that we've got a lot of heal and stress heal going on here. Just, we don't have... As much damage as I was hoping, though. 
Just because these two, like, they, they are good damage dealers, but it puts us in a difficult position. Ow. That's a lot of stress coming in. Um, I think we just keep healing up. Heal everyone up, get everyone to full health. And... Hmm. I think we just go for a kill here. Oh, really? You had to miss there, didn't you? You had to miss there, didn't you? Okay. Have to go for the kill. Let's try and stun you now. Nice. Okay. Good, good, good. Right. Stun resist has gone up quite a bit. Let's try and de-stress a little bit here. And this should be good. Yeah, I say that should be enough damage. Okay, I have to just kind of reassess how I play this a little bit. This is fine. This this works out okay. We just got to be careful and reassess. Quickly get rid of that. Of course, we are going to have a lot of walking around here. We are going to have a lot of searching. But we can do it. I'm not going to bother digging those up. We don't need anything from those right now. Okay. On we move. Next one along. Holy water. That's a stress relief. I'll take that. 30. Puts us in a much better spot. Good, good. Of course, I don't really know the right ways to go here. And there's a good chance we come across a croc or two along the way. Ow. Did we get any firewood, by the way? I didn't actually check if we if we have any firewood this time around. I did go and change all, around all my camping skills just in case. But I, no, we don't. We don't have any camping wood. So this is probably a shorter mission than I was expecting. Um, These guys are really high stun. Oh, the dodge on you has, has screwed me over. Um, let's do that. Oh, the dodge. They still hit everything else, though. That's good. Um, let's get that going again. I'm liking this. I'm liking these two helping each other out. Nice dodge. It's just for the dodge more than anything. 60 dodge is insanely high. These guys aren't going to be getting hit much at all. Nice stun on you. And there's that big damage. I mean, one health left is kind of annoying, but hey, her. Let's finish you off. I am maintaining the offensive. It's difficult, though. Um, stress heal. Okay. okay. These two are pretty much always going to dodge while they're guarding each other. So that's kind of what we need to keep up. Let's just lower everyone's stress for now while we've got the chance. Keep that going. I love this look. It's awesome. We're really not going to be able to do anything in terms of stunning these guys because their stun resist is very, very high. Uh, so I think we just go for what we can. That's good. Bit of extra bleed on there. That means he's dead. Nice dodge. Great to see. Great to see. Um, I think we just go for that. It's going to stun us, but I don't mind. The stun does... Okay, we have to be careful about that. The stunning does drop the guard, and instead it just makes us guard the other one. That is a very important distinction there. We have to be very cautious when we do that. Okay, keep going forward though. We're making our way. But this is this is more stressful than I was expecting. I knew level 5 missions would be something to behold, but I wasn't quite expecting this, I have to say. Good, good. Indeed, indeed. Okay. We don't have the speed initially. These guys will get the speed on us, yeah. Okay, no disease. That's good, no curse. Slings coming in. That's... He always targets the backline healer and it's always a pain in the ass. We don't need the heal yet, so let's swap these guys around for now. Um... Let's have a little look. So yeah, I think we still do this. The speed is invaluable. I think it's really worth getting that speed up there. Let's go with the parry and um, start off with this chain. Wow. Wow. 
that attack is absurd. We got the stun off, which is great. But that attack is absurdly strong. My god. Wow, 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 wow. We're probably going to go for a double heal here. There's another one coming in. We're definitely going for the double heal here. Boy. Have you lost your mind? Right. Um, unfortunately, this won't even work. He's stunned, but we can't really do anything against that. <sighs> Manold, why do you keep missing? <sighs> I can't believe this. <sighs> I'm stressed. I'm very stressed. We just lost our best healer. And now we have to, we have to go because we don't have a healer. The sin is not in being outmatched, but in failing to recognize it. Oh shit! We just we just lost our syringe. I'm stupid. I forgot if you don't finish the fight, you don't get your trinkets back. We couldn't finish that fight anyways without without a proper healer. We were we were we were getting destroyed. Back to the hamlet we go. Great adversity has a beauty. It is the we lost we lost our syringe. We're not ready. We're not ready. There We're not ready. A great horror beneath the manor. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. We need our syringe back now. We really do. We just lost it and it's like our best healing item. Did I buy I, I thought I bought a second one. Maybe I decided not to. Oh, my God. This is not going well. This is not going well at all, people. <sighs> I'm not ready for this. I am ill-prepared. And very, very scared for what comes next. Very, very scared. Did we... I gotta say, we didn't get another trinket. Luckily, the other thing she had was a Mender trinket, so that doesn't matter too much. I'm pretty sure we even don't get an extra stagecoach for this. Oh, no, we do. We do. Um... We do have a level 4 Ringmaster to bring on. That's great. The Ringmaster demands a challenger. Ooh. And we have a, a vo Voivede as well Beware to bring on. Nightfall, for he watches and waits for those who stray from Torchlight. Awesome. And I don't think any of these guys are level 4. Let me, let me check. Houndmaster. Um, Abomination. Oceanborn, no. Okay, we're good on all the, those fronts. Oh my god. We just lost our best healer and one of our best healing trinkets. It's a sad day. It's a sad day. And yeah, I yeah. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. We I I don't know how we're going to do the vis count. We're not ready. We're, we're clearly not. Maybe we need a full team of level 6s. Maybe level 4s wasn't the way to go, but we, we just lost level 6. That's our first legendary hero to go down. And also, 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 do death blows exist? Do death blows exist, people? Do death blows actually exist? Because I see no evidence that they do. We, we never, ever, ever survive death blow checks. We always die on the first hit. Like, my god... Like, everyone's base chance is 67. Some are higher, but most of them are 67. 67% um, chance and we still we still mess it up. Oh, boy. Did we lose a lot of blood then as well? I don't actually know. But we're not ready. I, I, I it's, it's a problem because we do need to do this. 
We do need to head into the courtyard, and it's really annoying to lose a healer as well, because we are already very, very light on healers. We already don't have many. Um, so I I just, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I, I brought out so much healing with us then, um, and it just, none of it was enough. I, I can't believe that rapier attack. It's so powerful. That's um, an AoE that can hit for up to 15 damage, and it bleeds. Oh my god. Just absolutely insane. I, I saw that she had the bleed on her and, and just kind of knew that it was problematic, but there's, there's nothing we could have done. There's nothing we could have done to help that. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let's go through some of the last diary entries. Even so. We have one here for Aurora by TEA. I've caught it. Damn the light. A few dry spots of blood cover a sector of the page. I'm isolating myself in my home with a supply of blood. I can't risk spreading this to anyone, especially not Ruby. I've given her explicit orders to come nowhere near me. I won't leave this place until I'm cured. I don't care what they want or need from me. I'm never leaving. More blood uh, taints the page. Unless it's to kill those damnable insects, then maybe. Why the hell won't my hands stop bleeding? And then last words for Oracle, again by Tia. Oracle watched, bleeding out, as the rest of the party fought desperately to finish and fight without him. He felt relief as the statue finally crumbled under the haphazardly loose rain of arrows, and the skeletons were efficiently dispatched. Aurora knelt beside him, tending to his wounds with bandages, but it was too late. You, you are the light. Carry the torch for me. Make sure this battle does not end here. At this point, Oracle could no longer see, his vision fading fast as blood lost, uh, the blood loss took its toll. Percy was the one to take the torch from Oracle's hand, and Oracle, against his will, laid his head down and drew his last breath. My god. And then, last diary entry of the episode. This is uh, by Friendly Shep and TEA. This is for Percy. My very first expedition within the, um, within the dungeons ultimately ended in the death of one of the warriors here. They handed me a torch, told me to carry it, continue the fight. Now that I have returned, I think I understand. Judging from the ferocity of his attacks versus the bloodsuckers we encountered, I'd say they were his main target. Percy stood atop the wall surrounding the hamlet, its construction deemed necessary by Berthold due to the nearby presence of bandits. He started out um, across the corrupted he stared out across the corrupted lands, his gaze focused on the courtyard, his hand gripping a bloody and burnt out torch. I see now what I was sent to exterminate. These nasty creatures carrying some sort of nasty disease. Um, other than the incurable lacrathy. It is unfortunate that Oracle perished. He would have been useful in the, uh, in, in the assistance of exterminating these pests. I suppose we must continue without him. My god. And there'll be some more of those coming next week because Zai died. Oh my god. Oh, I I do apologise. I, I feel like especially that death, there was nothing I could do. I just... The death blow checks just aren't in my favour. 67% chance and I've... I've only ever death blow checked like twice in this entire series. It's just, it's incredible. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.